This is new. <gasps> oh my god. I'm serious. Holy crap, guys. Look what this fell. And the storm has not even gotten here. It's not even like windy. I'm walking the dog right now. One last move before it gets bad. It's starting to rain pretty hard. But it's like not as bad as some of our rains. And it's getting really, not really windy, but it's pretty consistent. So the eye is maybe 100 miles away at this point. It's really gusty. No, I'm not. It's really rainy. We're gonna go towards the strong wind. Oh my god. Flooding. You see down there? That's across the sidewalk. And look at the the street sign. It's getting really windy out. The eye of the hurricane's fairly close at this point. Um, we had power for the longest time and now it's out. This light is really handy that I got. It takes a Sony battery that's really big um, and I have it on 20% brightness right now so the battery will really last a long time. Crazy stuff going outside. I just don't know how bad and I just don't know how bad the flooding is. We literally can't see outside because our windows are completely boarded up, which is good, but also it's kind of strange. So now you can see the water is like flooded over the road, over the whole sidewalk. The road is flooded over completely. that it's like 10 o'clock at night the eye is passed you can see the water in our ditch but we're doing really good it's nowhere near the house there's a ton of water right here but it's not bad there's also a ton of water over here but again it's not bad and it if you can see the fire hydrant, it didn't really get any higher, so it's great. We went outside at like 10 o'clock at night. I took a few pictures, which um, I'll put some right here right now so you can see. It's just so peaceful out, like there's no lights because everyone's power's out, it's just quiet. We have our generator on now, so we have the necessities running. We have like ability to charge our phones, we have fans. The street is flooded, but it didn't really flood any more from when I went out earlier. So that's really good news. Like, I'm so happy. I don't know if you can see it. I hit 40,000 subscribers, like, just now. That's crazy. So, so much good news all at the same time. So much to be thankful for. So guys, Hurricane Irma is gone, and we went outside. There's not much going on at all. I'm going to take you out and check out that damage. But first... The only potential casualty of Hurricane Irma is my Galaxy S8. So, I know it's not dead. It's just going to take a little bit to get right. So, I have a bunch of charging crap right here. And when I plug it in, see it like starts charging. But then look, down here, you can see that it's indicating that there's water in the charging port. Yes, that's good news, because it wasn't charging for like all overnight. Great. So now my Mophie's charging this. 
I have the coffee bot hooked up to the generator and I'm making coffee because I'm addicted. You can see our sketchy wires right there. But that's powering. And phone chargers, everything. So here is one of our trees that completely fell down. But it wasn't planted that long ago. Like you can see the roots aren't very big. Here's one of our hibiscus. Again, the root structure, not that bad. We can just basically prop it back up, maybe redig the hole and it'll be good. Just kind of fell over. So that's great news that it didn't fly away or anything. I would say kind of the scariest stuff was hearing stuff hit the roof last night, like uh, the pine trees and stuff, their limbs were breaking off. I mean, they're, they sound loud, but in reality, if it was a huge tree, it would have been really loud. But let me show you the other stuff that fell. So here's the dead tree. It kind of broke in half, which is good. They all fell away from the house. But to kind of give you an indication, like, it goes on forever. Like, it's a big tree. And then this fell. This one actually is the biggest one in our property to fall. You can kind of see that. I don't know if I turn this around. If I do this, if that kind of gives you an indication of how big this tree was. Like I'm right here, it's right here, but then it goes up higher. And this log right here, I mean, it's big. Like this is me laying on it and the sun is in my eyes, <laughs> but this tree is really big. And it kind of goes on forever. You can, I can do some parkour on this. Wow, like it keeps going. And going way over there but again I'm gonna fall um, we're really lucky about what happened all the trees fall away from the house no physical damage to the house at all the roads were really flooded last night which that's how my galaxy s8 got the water damage in the first place because I kept going outside and like live streaming and recording in the wind which of course all of that will be posted around um, in this video but yeah I'm just ecstatic we're okay I even checked on my work. My work's okay for the most part. We're just without power right now, but we have a generator so I can charge everything. I should be able to get this video up um, using tethering on my phone, but data is really spotty right now, so that could possibly take a million years. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just very happy. So we've just been driving around and checking out all the damage right now, and I'm just walking down this like path and it's not really bad, but the water is a lot higher, like from the storm surge. But like I said, it could have been a lot worse. I mean, there are some houses that were affected. There are a lot of big things that fell, but for the most part, I'd say a lot of people lucked out. It's kind of cool just to like drive around and see everything, but then also it's kind of dangerous because a lot of the traffic like or lights are not working. And people don't know that when the traffic lights are out, you have to just treat it as a four-way stop and people don't do that. But um, we also went to Publix, the grocery store, and the lights were out, which was really creepy, but they were open. So that was off, weird. So I end this video with the storm gone. It's a nice day out. But do you know what? <laughs> 24 hours later, most importantly, we have power back. You hear that? That is the beautiful sound of air condition. And we have Wi-Fi too. So now I can finally edit this video, get it uploaded. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's super long, but it has some great footage. I even got some drone footage of my house, just showcasing that the roof is okay. It's a great tool to use your drone for. 
I would never know exactly right on top, but yeah, it's been a stressful whole week, but it's finally over. We have a little bit of cleanup to do. Overall, I'm happy it's over. And I just learned to be appreciative, be thankful for my life, family, a roof, and not take for granted things. So yeah, I did that at least. All right guys, that's it. Tech is coming, Regular, regularly scheduled tech videos are coming very soon, of course. See you guys later, bye.